right? So we resolve to a one in minor and that's okay. If we're in a minor key, that can totally happen. Other things to keep in mind on a five one. Uh, a five one shares a note. So always try to keep that in the same voice in the same note. We don't wanna cross this over. So let's see, let's do it wrong. What if I did this? And then that. Okay, this would be bad for a number of reasons, but let's walk through one of them. Uh, the biggest one, well, the one that I'm talking about right now is that this A does not continue on to here. This A switches voices when it doesn't need to. Like, this is what voice leading is all about, right? That word voice leading. It's getting, it's finding the path of least resistance from one chord to the next, the smoothest possible way. So the smoothest possible way for this to get to the next note is for this to go to stay on the same note. So always try to do that in a five to one. Find the common note and keep it in the same voice. Now, if we were looking at an imperfect authentic cadence, we might have something like this. This is fairly common to have an imperfect authentic cadence where we have the leading tone in the bass. Now, in order for this to perfectly work, I'm gonna adjust a couple other things. There we go. Now it works again. So this is an imperfect because we don't have root position five. We have a five, six chord here, which means that the third is in the bass, first inversion. So the third is in the bass, but it's raised correctly so that it's a major five chord and that's gonna give us our leading tone in the bass. So imperfect authentic cadence, we still have two to one up here. Let's hear it. So you still get that leading tone one feel. Try to latch your ear onto the bass note. So it still feels pretty good that way, right? I still have my A, my common tone in the same voice. It's in a different voice than it was before, but it's in the same voice. Now I've doubled my A here, and this one has to move because I don't want to double the fifth of this chord, of my tonic chord. Uh, because then I'd have, I only have three notes in this chord and I'd have two doublings. I'd have D, A, A, D, if I didn't move this note. But in at least one of the voices, it stays the same. So that's okay. That's what we want to do. So a couple things about uh, the five chord and resolving it. Let's jump to a new video and talk about some other resolution possibilities that happen and some voice leading things that can happen with the five one chord the 5-1 chord progression.